Welcome back to Tammy Talks About. So, I found this article over uh, from Twitter, and it's over on Daily Wire, and this is thanks to Tongo Bozi, Bozi, B-O-Z-Z-I-E, and they say this is the best article I've seen so far. Although, please remember, she swore under oath she had donated to both charities. Plus, the reason for this? Had she not actually donated the money and kept it for herself, she would have a financial motive to lie. And so, let's get into the article. But before we get into the article, you know the drill by now. If you like this video, leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. And as always, feed that pesky algorithm and share this video. And also, if you're not subscribed here, please consider subscribing. This channel is all our channel, and we are on a journey. And I would love for you to come along on this journey with us. In fact, I am planning on going to the trial next year. I want to be there for the entire trial with daily live streams at the end of each trial day to keep you up to date on what's happening each and every day with the trial. I want to try to do interviews while I'm there. I'm going to try to talk to people that are there, people who are involved in the case, whoever I can talk to, and bring it all to you. So, in between all that, we've got so much we'll be covering. We'll be doing so many things. If you have suggestions for the channel, I'd love to hear from you. But, if you're not subscribed here, please consider subscribing. So, let's talk about the article. And, yes, I smoke. Some people don't like it. I'm sorry. I try to be as honest and as much of who I am as possible in these videos. You're seeing me, the real me, warts and all. But anyway, the title of this article is Johnny Depp wins motion to force ACLU to reveal whether Amber Heard paid the millions she promised after divorce. And you know, I mentioned that Daily Wire is a huge has a huge outreach and is a conservative news organization but I did a quick Google search this morning before I started doing this video and I had noticed with this with this ACLU win on the motions to compel them to answer all those hard terrible questions um, I've noticed that the mainstream media is picking up on this they tend to pick up on the stuff about the donations which you know what it's a win for Johnny but it's also a win in the fact that more people are seeing what the truth is. They're seeing not only is she a liar and she physically, emotionally, and verbally abused him and then turned around and accused him of the very things that she did to him, but she also lied about the charities. And also, the, the it's bringing a... It's bringing light to the fact that men are victims too. And that just because you're a woman, that does not mean that you should automatically believe that hashtag, believe all women. That is, the, that is dangerous for so many reasons. But anyway, um, when I did that Google search, this is just the, or, the media that I saw in one Google search. Not only do we have Daily Wire, which we're fixing to talk about, we've got Daily Mail, Breitbart, USA Today, Independent, Inside the Magic, Crow River Media, I don't know what that is, but, you know, hey, Yahoo and HLN. And that was just in one Google search on two pages of news from my phone. So, you know, we've got mainstream media that's picking up on this, and more people are seeing what the truth is. Also, the truth about organizations like the ACLU. They are an organization that are funded, yes, mainly by huge millionaire and billionaire investors and donators, but there are people like you and I who donate money to them every day. So it's people like that that needs to see what kind of lying, cheating, vile organization it is because and I say that because any organization that would blindly accept what she said, and they wrote the op-ed for her, we've got the proof of that already, and blindly just go out and accuse one of the most well-known men in the world of such evil and horrible acts, 
and still are backing her, still are standing by her to this day, even though they've got to know what the truth really is, that makes them vile and evil in my eyes anyway. Okay, so let's read this article, and I will leave a link to it in the description box down below. Following her divorce from actor Johnny Depp in 2016, actress A.H. said she didn't want the money from their divorce settlement and pledged to donate the, her $7 million to charity. Since then, people have wondered whether she ever followed through with that public announcement. Now, on one of the charities she promised money to, the ACLU, will have to show whether it received the $3.5 million A.H. promised. ACLU had previously refused to say whether it received the money from A.H., so Depp went to court in an attempt to force them to re reveal the truth. He just won. The Daily Mail exclusively reported that Depp's attorneys had filed a petition with the New York Supreme Court to force the ACLU to prove whether A.H. had followed through on her pledge. Now judges granted 23 of the 24 requests in the actor's motion to compel, meaning the organization must produce the paperwork relating to A.H.'s charitable contributions. The outlet reported, the only thing Judge Arthur Ingoron, Ingoron, I'm sorry, I know I butchered your name, Judge, and I apologize, refused was a request for documents relating to the actress's role as a brand ambassador for the ACLU. The judge ruled that Depp, I'm sorry, y'all, I don't know, somebody must be coming to see me. That's what my mom always told me when your nose itches. But my nose has been itching all morning, and I've recorded this 15 times, and I'm not doing it again. <laughs> the judge ruled that Depp had satisfied the initial burden, burden of stating the circumstances of reasons underlying the subpoena. The ACLU has failed to demonstrate that the information sought it utterly irre irrelevant to the action. Thus, for the reasons stated herein, the petition is granted and denied in part, and respondents are ordered to comply with all the subpoenas, with the exception of documents pertaining to Ms. Hurd's role as brand ambassador for the ACLU, the judge added. Depp and his attorneys long believed Hurd had never followed through on her 2016 promise. In January, the Mail reported that the Children's Hospital Los Angeles, the other charity which Hurd had promised a donation, had only received 100000 of the promised $3.5 million. And this is my addition. We all know that that was Johnny's um, financial guy. I'm sorry, I'm going blank. He wrote the check. In other words, Johnny paid that 100000 on her behalf. Anyway, the reason Depp filed the petition was that Hardy claimed she had no financial incentive to falsely accuse Depp of DV because she gave the money away. Had she not actually donated the money and kept it for herself, she would have a financial motive to lie. <laughs> Depp had previously lost a libel case against A.H. in the British tabloid The Sun, which painted him as a DV or a DA after A.H. claimed he beat her during their marriage. As the Daily Wire previously reported, audio presented in that case showed that A.H. admitted to hitting the Pirates of the Caribbean actor. I'm sorry that I didn't uh, uh, hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you, babe. You're not punched, Heard tells Depp in a recording. I don't know how, what m the motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. And that's all. Amber Heard's words. <sighs> at the time of the libel suit, at the time the libel suit was tossed, Depp's attorneys called the ruling perverse and bewildering, pointing out that the mountain of evidence the judge appeared to have ignored arriving at his decision. Most troubling is the judge's reliance on the testimony of Amber Heard and corresponding disregard of the mountain of counter evidence from police officers medical practitioners, her own former assistant, other unchallenged witnesses, and an array of documentary evidence which completely undermined the allegations point by point. All of this was overlooked, said attorney Jenny Afia. The judgment is so flawed that it would be ridiculous for Mr. Depp not to appeal this decision. Among that mountain of evidence, the Daily Wire previously reported was surveillance videos Eyewitness statements, audio, photos, and more showing that Depp was the real victim. 
One of the testimonies comes from Trinity Esperanza, who was the concierge at the penthouse where Heard claims Depp hit her in the face. Esperanza now questions how Heard received the mark on her face she claimed was from Depp after reviewing surveillance footage from three days later when Heard's sister Whitney pretended to punch her in the face, according to court documents, the Daily Wire reporting. Further evidence suggested Heard attacked Depp while the actor was in bed and staged the attack she claimed he committed. Unaware that members of Mr. Depp's security team, including an 18-year veteran of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, were mere feet away, Miss Heard falsely began yelling, Stop hitting me, Johnny! Depp alleged in court documents. The interaction culminated with Miss Heard making false allegations that Mr. Depp struck her with a cell phone, hit her, and destroyed the penthouse. There were multiple eyewitnesses to this hoax. While Depp had been dropped from major roles following Heard's allegations, the actress, who again admitted to attacking Depp, has been cast in the upcoming Aquaman 2 and is available for paid speaking gigs. Oh, my God. The Daily Wire is one of them. Oh, okay, so that is a good article. Wow, that is the only mainstream media organization that I have seen put so much of the evidence in the report. Wow. What did you think? I agree. I agree. This is the best article I've seen so far. We just need more like that. And it takes you doing things like sharing these videos of anyone who's telling the truth. Get out there and share and tell everyone. And in fact, the an update on that Unbox PhD he has actually went and handed out flyers in the community surrounding the Warner Brothers Studios where Aquaman 2 is being filmed. <laughs> Good for you. Man, that's amazing. And don't forget, write the letter to MGM and let them know that you want Minamata released in America. Let's do what we can to not only get the truth out there, but to do to let these places like WB and MGM, sorry, we have a thunderstorm going on. I'm sure you can hear that in the background. It is beautiful, personally. But do what you can do to get the word out and let these places like these studios and such know that we will not support them if they continue to keep the actual abuser while they have fired the victim and that we want movies like Minamata to be shown. They deserve to be shown. Okay, so that's everything. And until next time, be blessed. Mm -hmm.